Professor Xie, good to see you. Nice to meet you, too. Now, I should say congratulations, Professor Xie, for your achievements and also winning a world-coveted Buckley Prize in condensed physics, condensed Thank matter you. physics. But can you explain in average Joe's language exactly what it means, what are you working on, and why is it so significant to all of us? Yeah, I think uh, I can talk about the, the significant uh, twofold. The first, uh, as you know, the basic research, fundamental research, is for the understanding our nature. So what uh, I discovered uh, with the quantum anomaly effect uh, is the new law of electron motion in our materials. For example, transistor is a special uh, device to control the electron motion. Similarly, quantum anomaly allow the new law of the electron flow or motion in our materials. One of the uh, unique feature of this effect is that the electron uh, move around the edge of the materials or the devices uh, with uh, uh, basically no energy consumption in principle. So certainly it's a new law of the uh, electron motion and similarly uh, at the same time because of this dissipation is transfer of electron certainly we can imagine in the future we can use this new law of electron motion to develop a low energy consumption electronics. What so, you said uh, reminds me of the latest challenge we're having about the artificial intelligence. One of the things is uh, the energy that's needed for computational, uh, uh, how shall I say, computational operations. Uh, as long as this uh, quantum anomaly effect amplified, uh, they can use the many, many different type of the electronic device, certainly I think the AI, some of the robots may use some of these devices. Uh, in this case, mm -hmm. I am sure the energy consumption will be uh, much lower. Tell me, how did you manage to eventually nail down the kind of areas that you are working on so much these days? Yeah, so actually, first uh, very important thing is the research tool or research uh, infrastructure or research platform we have. So for the last uh, almost 30 years, one of my main effort for the research or in my career to develop some of the new type of uh, tool for the research. So one of the them is the molecular beam epitaxy, scanning quantum microscope and uh, angle result, uh, angle resolved photo emission spectroscopy. Mm -hmm. In short, uh, MB, STM, APEX combined uh, very complicated uh, system. Mm -hmm. That system allow us to control uh, of the material and the atomic level. Also, we can characterize the property of our materials at the atomic level. This is uh, very essential for the discovery of a quantum anomaly effect. Sounds fascinating. So you have to invent the spaceship first before you reach the sky. Yes. Uh, how do you see your field evolving in the future? Which direction is it going? So obviously, one of the very important uh, direction is the quantum computation, or uh, you can say the quantum computer. So the uh, quantum anomaly effect uh, combined with the superconductivity mm -hmm. can lead to or the produce another very novel phenomenon we call the Marona Fermion. This uh, uh, special uh, phenomena allow the topological quantum computing. Topological quantum computing is, uh, an, is a fault turret, means they can operate with high fidelity. Mm -hmm. So one of the future direction my group or the, field, the people in this field try to see the possibility for the future topological quantum computation. Many see artificial intelligence as a great tool to transform uh, different sectors of science and technology research. 
Uh, what about for your field? I think uh, will be much similar. So if the eventually the quantum computer is developed as we imagined, then the, the, the computation power will be significantly the, uh, change. So this will be also this will also change the artificial energy, uh, artificial uh, AI, mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, because it look like the chat GPT or the solar, this uh, text uh, video uh, transformation uh, machine that rely on the computation power right. very much. So if the quantum, uh, if the quantum computer is eventually uh, developed mm -hmm. into practice, yes. so that will be uh, changing the AI also. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now you see at the ongoing China's annual political season, the government work report uh, have been suggesting about uh, more energy toward the science and technology. And then in order to uh, improve the new quality productive forces, uh, how far is your field from uh, uh, helping to supporting to achieve that? I think uh, uh, the, the, the scientists in our uh, field or similar field really the form the foundation for the future new quality productive power mm -hmm. or the force because uh, technology in many ways uh, initially derived from the breakthrough in the fundamental research. Like the, if you talk about the transistor, at the beginning it's a discovery in the physics from, of a semiconductor, mm -hmm. but now it's already used anywhere in the world. So I, I think uh, both science advancement and the technology development are equally important. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a very fortunate to be a scientist in the basic research. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, our effort, of course, is to uh, develop, eventually develop some uh, technology, but uh, we need uh, uh, to take time mm -hmm. to transfer a discovery in the science right. into a practical technology, then to the industry Indeed. or economics. So we need all the people in the different uh, you know, aspect of the, uh, this chain. To work together. Yeah, work and together. And also have the patience. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, discussions about uh, uh, what needs to be done in order to really encourage basic science research, as you just said. Yeah. What do you think, Professor? First, uh, uh, since government, our government realized the, very, the importance of the fundamental or basic research for the last 20 years, uh, stable or even increasing the financial support or the other support have been, uh, you know, the, the put on the fundamental research. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good news for uh, our, for the scientists in our field. Mm -hmm. Another thing is we have to, you know, uh, optimize the current promotion or the, you know, evaluation system. So for the basic research people, you cannot uh, make the annual plan for the outcome, just like the, in the production line in the industry. So in this case... Greatness is not planned. Right, right. Greatness ne never be uh, planned Plan. that way. Mm -hmm. So we need to optimize or the reform the current uh, promotion mm -hmm. or evaluation system. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good uh, encourage. That will be a very good encouragement uh, for the scientists in this uh, fundamental uh, research. Mm. You are the president of one of the most well-known science and technology universities in China. Mm. And I know your university has been producing enormous amount of talents every year for China and beyond. Mm. So how, how, I don't understand, how would you be able to manage that? I mean, you put so much energy into your research already. Yeah, of course, the first thing is uh, as a president, uh, I have to do the lot of the uh, you know, management thing, administration, because uh, to make the, this uh, entire university uh, to an excellent university yeah. is uh, very important. Yes. At the same time, I have to uh, work harder and uh, use the other time to uh, work on my own research. A good news for you is uh, 
I established a very strong team with uh, uh, about the uh, seven young action professor. Mm -hmm. So I only conceived with a big project uh, to uh, control the, 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 the research mm -hmm. in the more high level, mm -hmm. but uh, for the detailed work, for deta detailed uh, the, uh, work, I will ask uh, my younger professor to help him on that, uh, to train the student, mm -hmm. to do the conduct the research. Thank you so much, Professor Xue. Congratulations once again for the great prize. My pleasure. Also, thank you very much for your warmest message.